It's time to pause for a moment of science today and we are going to talk about changes. Um, in science, we discuss two separate changes. One is a physical change and one is a chemical change. And so we're going to make a T-chart with a little bit of notes and we're going to compare the two. So let's start by making our T-chart. We'll put physical here and chemical here. So we're going to compare these two. Let me pull you closer so you can see. We're going to compare these two changes. All right, a physical change, um, there are some important things that you need to know about physical change. One of the major things is that no new substance is formed. All right, it remains the same. For example, if you are mowing the lawn, when the grass is cut, well, it's still grass. It doesn't form a whole new substance just because you cut it. And the reason why is physical changes tend to change by size, shape, form, state of matter. All right, now, for the record, form and state of matter are pretty much the same thing. It's just a different use, um, a different play on the word. Size, shape, form, or state of matter. Now we're gonna talk about chemical changes. Uh, chemical changes to me are the most fun. And I also think it's easier to um, figure out if a change is a chemical or physical change if you actually start with chemical first. In my opinion, if you learn chemical very well and you kind of go through the rules of chemical change, it makes it easier to figure out. Um, if you start with physical, I feel like it's harder. If you start with chemical, I think it's way easier. So the rules for a chemical change is that it becomes a new substance, brand new product that you get when there's a chemical change. And a lot of times you'll, you'll um, notice that it gets a name change. A, not every time, but a lot of times when a chemical change has occurred, it, we call it something different. All right, I don't like this marker. This marker quit on me, so let me get another one. Chemical changes can um, have a change of temperature. So there's something going on with the heat. It will either lose heat or gain heat. Most of the time, they gain heat or give off heat. It would be the losing. Um, they can give off light. They will give off gas or they will change color. Can you see that all the way down there? All right, change color. All right, so heat, we already discussed. Light is pretty, that's pretty simple to understand. Now, gas is a little more difficult. Um, most gases are invisible, and so kids might think that it's hard for you to know if, an, if a substance is giving off a gas if it's invisible. So um, there are two ways, two indicators that will help you know that if it's giving off a gas, first of all, you're gonna smell it. All right, so there's gonna be a smell and if there's not a smell, there's still a way that you can tell um, is that it will often give off bubbles. It can do one of these or it can do both of these. It doesn't have to smell and it doesn't have to give off bubbles, but it has to do one or the other if it's giving off the gas. And then change color, um, well, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory right there. It starts out one color, ends up another color. So changing color. Okay, well this is a really simple way um, to begin learning about physical changes. I have a piece of paper, a little post-it note, and you can see that, um, number one, it's paper, and number two, you can see it's, it's um, in the shape of a rectangle, all right? So if I tear this paper, how did the paper change, all right? Do you see? First of all, we need to ask ourselves, what is this substance? Well, it's still paper, so that's one indicator. A new substance was not formed. Number two, it changed in size, 
and it changed in shape. If I go like this, it's still paper. Um, I could wet it, it's still paper. It's wet paper, but it's still paper. It does not um, form a new substance, and so it is a physical change. Things like tearing, mixing, uh, squeezing, those are all physical changes. Melting, freezing, also some very common physical changes that you'll talk about in science. So now we're gonna talk about chemical changes just real quick. Um, fireworks are my favorite example to give for chemical changes because they follow all the rules. So I want you to think about fireworks, um, Fourth of July fireworks, okay? First of all, do they give off heat? Yeah, there's definitely a temperature change with fireworks. It's why um, special, tr specially trained people, firefighters um, in gloves and suits and that kind of thing, those, those are the people who give off the fireworks. Why? Well, because they're hot, because you're going to get burnt if you don't know what you're doing. So fireworks definitely give off heat. Do they give off light? Um, yeah, that's kind of the purpose of fireworks. It would be really lame to um, go to the 4th of July and you hear the sound, but you see nothing. All right, so it, it would be a, a, a really sad time if all you did was sit on a blanket and listen to the sound. So luckily for us, fireworks give off light. Do they give off a gas? Yeah, you can smell that burning smell. You can see smoke. Um, you, it just has that kind of ugh, burnt wood almost kind of smell. Uh, I don't think they give off bubbles, but I know that I can smell them, so it does give off a gas. And then, of course, change color. If you've ever seen um, fireworks, the, the powder inside is not the color of the light show that happens above your head. So there's definitely a, a difference in color. And, and most importantly, it is a totally new substance. Fireworks, before you light them, are this kind of giant can with this powder inside, um, but after, it is, a, it is a burst of light in the sky. And so that is totally, totally different. That is a totally different um, substance. So that's 100% boom, 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 chemical change. Now, with chemical change, it doesn't have to do all four. It can just do one, or two, or three, or all four like fireworks. All right, so for today's lab, we are going to do a little practice with physical and chemical changes. We're gonna do an experiment um, that these are the supplies. We have heavy whipping cream. This is just Walmart brand. I have a one fourth cup measuring cup, a popsicle stick, a white styrofoam cup, and a mason jar, lid, and band. Now, you don't have to use a plastic, um, I mean a glass mason jar. You can use any small container that has a lid that secures very tight. And then of course we have a data sheet because we need to collect some data on our change. At the end of the experiment, you should be able to tell me based on your data if this was a physical change or a chemical change. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to go ahead and get our ingredients. So we want one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. And remember, when you do a liquid measurement, you don't hold it while you pour. You pour, and then you pick it up and put it in the container. Okay. And then we're gonna take the lid, and there's a rubber band on the inside of it. That's to protect the glass, so that goes band side down. And then we'll put the, the ring or band on it. 
and you want it tight, snug, but not so tight that it would be hard to open or that you might um, compromise the glass. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna collect some data. So I'm gonna move this, move my supplies to the side so that I can focus on some data. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna note the color. All right, well, when I look at the color, I would probably say white, but then when I look at this color of styrofoam, I'm like, mm, this is white. This is more like cream colored, okay? Cream colored. So I'm gonna put for color, I'm gonna put cream. And if I had to mix two colors together to get this actual color, what would you say the colors would be? I would say white and yellow. If you mix white and yellow together, you will get this kind of um, pretty cream color. All right, now we need to smell it. So let's take the lid off and smell. Hmm, well, it doesn't really have that much of an odor. It almost smells like candle wax to me. Now I have to taste it. I keep putting that lid on. I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my stick, give a little taste. Well, it tastes like cream with no sugar. It's not very sweet at all. It tastes very plain. And then the texture of it, mm, I would say it's a little more closely. So I am going to take my cup and pour the liquid off. Okay, that over there. And then, boom, that's what we have left. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me if you think this is a physical change or a chemical change and tell me why. Remember, if it's a physical change, it will change in size, shape, form, or state of matter. And if it's a chemical change, it will give off heat, light, gas, or change color. So let me know. All right, now that you have had a chance to um, see what we made and kind of think out in your head if you think it is a um, physical change or a chemical change, I just wanna go through uh, some of the rules with you and clarify some things. I will tell you up front that I purposely picked this experiment to do with you because it's really tough. I mean, I feel like you could almost choose things in both categories and I feel like the butter activity it is a real tough one to decide. So if you get it wrong, it's okay. This is probably the hardest one. So let's go through, um, let's go through physical change first. Even though I said it's better to start with chemical, uh, nah, I'm gonna keep to my rules, all right? I'm gonna keep to my rules. Here we go. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go back. Here we go, take two. <laughs> all right, so a physical change says that no new substance is formed. Well, we did start out with cream and now we're calling it butter. And so that kind of feels like it might be a new substance. Um, did it change in size? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say bigger or smaller, but uh, I don't know, size is a hard one. Size is a really tough one. Uh, we'll come back to size. Um, shape, for sure, absolutely for sure. And form and state of matter, absolutely. I mean, you started out with a thick liquid and you ended up with a really thin um, liquid and a solid. So definitely changed in state of matter. Now let's talk about chemical, because here's where it gets really interesting. All right, so a new substance um, is formed. Well, we could say that the butter was a new substance, correct? Oh, we're bouncing a little bit. It's okay. Ah. Uh, did it give off heat? No, it had no temperature change. It didn't feel warm and it didn't feel cold. So I can't say that there was some type of gain or loss. I have gain, but it's also or loss. 
of heat, all right? So some kind of temperature change. Did it give off light? No, but that would be awesome. Um, did it give off the gas? No, I mean, it had an odor because a lot of things just have a fragrance. Um, for example, vinegar has a very specific smell, not because it's giving off a gas, but the, that's the smell of it. That's what it smells like. Milk smells a certain way. Um, I don't know, cookies smell a certain way. Not because they are giving off a gas, but because that's their natural odor. All right, so did it give off a gas? No. Did it change color? Hmm. Well, that's where it gets really interesting because at first you might be really quick to say, well, yeah, it started out, according to our data sheet, According to the data sheet, we said that it started out cream, like a cream color. And then we expanded a little bit more and said that if we were to make the color cream, that we would combine the colors yellow and white. So to make the color cream, you need yellow and white. But in the end, what we have is yellow. white so it's not that it changed colors it's that we were able to pull the colors apart so for example if you take the color pink all right if you take pink to make pink you need to put red with white all right and they don't have to chemically react to get pink okay and so basically to get pink, you are just mixing two colors together and you can pull those two colors back apart. And that's exactly what happened here. Um, even though it's really tough and even though it's very debatable, making butter is a physical change. It doesn't change colors. We merely, through the experiment, were able to pull the colors apart and we can put those colors back together. If we melt the butter, it will go back into liquid form, and then all we have to do is pour it back inside here, stir it up. We have the original cream that we started out with. So just one more time, even though this one was tough and really stretched your brain, it is a physical change because it's reversible. It only changed in state of matter. It did not change color. It did not give off heat. It did not give off light. It did not give off gas and it did not change color. It's a tough one, right?